Good day and welcome to Favu One Matli, where we work smart, not hard. In today's problem, we're given this diagram of a square. Inside, we have a large circle and two small semicircles. The square has a dimension of 4. With that, we're to determine the radius of the big circle. Pause the video here, give it a try, see what you come up with. I'm going to solve it this way. So, let's see. I'll begin by making some construction lines. Like for example, we know that this is the radius R. By definition, that's the distance from the center of the circle to any point on the circle. If that is R and the whole distance there is 4, then this distance will be 4 minus R. Looking at this small semicircle on the right, if the diameter is 2, then the radius will be half of 2, which is 1. We have so far two legs of a right angle triangle. So if we complete the hypotenuse, we know that this distance here will be 1, which is the radius of the small triangle. And that distance will be R, which is the radius of the circle that we're looking for. So all together, that hypotenuse will be R plus 1. We have a right angle triangle, so we can use Pythagoras' theorem. So we'll have 4 minus R squared plus 1 squared is equal to R plus 1 squared. Expanding brackets, we'll have 4 times 4, which is 16, minus 4R, minus 4R, plus R squared, plus 1, is equal to R squared plus R plus 1. Simplifying, we'll have 16 minus 8R, plus R squared plus 1, is equal to R squared plus 2R plus 1. We notice that we have R squared on both sides, so we can cancel those. We're also adding 1 on both sides, so we can cancel those as well. That will leave us with 16 minus 8R is equal to 2R. Transposing, we'll have 16 is equal to 2R plus 8R, which gives us 16 is equal to 10R. Therefore, R will be equal to 16 divided by 10, which gives us the answer is R is 1.6 centimeters. Did you get it right? If so, comment below. And as always, if you found this video useful, please hit that like button, share with others, and subscribe if you're new here.